this is part one of Windows Autopilot Hybrid Azure AV over VPN support. So um, this device has been reset to its factory settings again. And now I'm back in the movie stage where I'm just going to select uh, my country language, which is English. You know, yes on that. The region is set to United States. The default location is set to United States. So since I'm based in Australia, I'll set Australia here. So yes. Um, yes, uh, the keyboard layout, yes as well. Second keyboard layout, no. And network, we'll just do some network changes here. Um, and ideally it'll just go through. Just loads for just a moment. It will restart your device, send it to your Azure AD um, deployments. And it will load for just a moment. So here, Log in with your credentials again. So I'm going to log in with my credentials, which is just burn.mar at nowintas.com. And since I've got the passwordless authenticator on right my phone, and you can see that's 54, so I click 54, and I think and it will get me true. And this is where the device itself will receive um, all the device configurations from Microsoft Intune. Um, so it's similar, it's similar true if we had the enrollment status page um, where it will show you bit by bit. Um, that usually does take a while. So, um, so let's let it run. It will eventually um, come in. So we'll just let it run for now.
restart this device. So this is actually where it's actually received all its policies as well as certificates and device enrollments and so forth. So first it's just restarted. So now it will just load for just a moment. So um, at this stage, it will load straight to the login page. Um, you'll see the domain, you'll see at the bottom, it's actually joined to Namtaz. Um, so after that, there'll be like a 20, 20 minute delay where you have to restart the device and you'll see a network sign in, which I'll follow up on stage or pretty much part two of this video.
this is where we choose the privacy settings for our device. So by default, um, this is what happens. And during an SCCM stage, this is actually turned off for the end user, so they actually don't see it. It's all done through grid policy. But in this case, for uh, our box experience, this is what you get. So just click accept. And what it will do is bring you here. You can notice that time zone is wrong, which is, which is like that. But um, once the device actually logs in, it will actually run through the set time zone, which I have in place. Um, so now you get the legal notice. And here you see at the bottom that it's now in test. So ideally we have to wait roughly about 20 minutes or so. Um, and at the bottom, it will see like a network signing. So I'll continue, continue on with the part two of this um, video and just a follow up. Thank you.